this, <laughs> this um, yeah, I feel bad, right? But this application I use to record the, the, uh, the screencast. I, I use it to record my screen, right? So every time I'm, you know, moving around, context switching the screen, I'm recording everything, right, in real time. I use this application called OBS. Now, the way OBS works is you can configure it, uh, you can specify the microphone that you want to associate with OBS. Right now, OBS is assuming that I'm using the integrated microphone on my computer, right? The peripheral that. But because I'm so far away, the audio is of poor quality. So what do I do? I use an external microphone, which I connect to my other computer system, right? My smartphone. So every time I come here, I come with this. Now when I'm using my smartphone to record the audio, there's application software here that I use, right? This is called, uh, I have to remind myself here, this is called Smart Recorder. There's a ton of, and you do this, right? Uh, we know you, you probably secret record people here, for whatever reason, right? Your friends, when you're having a secret conversation, say, I record you or something. But anyway, I don't, do it, I don't use it for that. I use it to record my audio so that once I'm done with class and I go back home, what I'll do, right, when I have time, is I have to merge the audio recording with the video, right, the screencast recording. I use a separate piece of application software. It's called FFmpeg, right? It's a terminal-based command. So if I just, uh, if I just do a FFmpeg here, this is what I use, right? If I do a man on FFmpeg, you notice that there's help text about how this works. So for me to create a screencast, which you, you normally, uh, will normally manifest itself like this, and I'll, sh I'll show you this just now. If I look at the recordings from, this is a third year course, if I go to the first year course, which is here, if you look at the recording from April, um, this was April 6th, I think. This, this is, this MKV file is what is generated by OBS. This WAV file, right, is what is generated by my, my phone app called Smart Recorder. So what I'll do is, because this is on my phone, I use application software called um, ADB. It's called the Android Debug Bridge, right? ADB. To, to move the file that has been recorded, right, the audio recording to my computer. Once I move that file, I will end up with this WAV file. When I get this WAV file, what I start doing is I use FFmpeg to trim the audio file and the video file because they are out of sync. Like, I just started the video recording, right? The audio started way before I got into this room, so they're out of sync. I have to synchronize them somehow. And it's a manual process, right? I will, I'm fortunate because the instances when there's no recording there, but because there's audio recording on, my, on OBS and here, I can just take a note of when I said something unique here and match it with when I said that thing there. And then I take note of the timestamps and then I merge them. The way I merge them, right, is I'll, I'll, I'll find myself using these weird scripts here, like uh, I'll show you the scripts that I use here. There's, there's this, uh... So this, these are sort of commands that I'll run. You just assume that these are commands, right? So I'll start by, first of all, trimming the audio and then I'll trim the video and then I'll merge the trimmed video and the trimmed audio. I'm using FFmpeg, right? Um, and then what I end up with is this. So this would be the screencast. I will then open up my browser, right? Access the YouTube app, which is a web-based application. And then I upload, right? So I don't know if some of you guys are content creators, but um, I am myself. What I will do is I will I don't know where I'm at here, but I've lost a uh, thing here. But uh, actually, maybe I can I can do something else here. I don't want to lose context of this important. Uh, and I, I, oh, it's there. It's at the beginning. So what I'll do is when I when I get to when I get to YouTube, I go to I don't go to YouTube.com, right? I go to YouTube Studio. So it's called Studio.YouTube.com. And you remember all of this, right? The moment you see studio.youtube.com, you know that that application is separate from where you go, which is www.youtube.com, right? These are separate applications. They're all web-based applications. If I open up Studio, by the way, you can access Studio as well. 
If I open up Studio, Studio has a feature that allows me to upload content, right? So I'll click on Create, right? And I'll upload that video. When I upload the video, right, it will find itself like, and this is what I was talking about, by the way, uh, ladies and gentlemen, if I, go, <laughs> if, I, if I go on content, right, right? Well, these are recent, right? This was today, it's a different course, but this is a, these are unlisted, zero views, and I know people are not reading, and then when you complain, oh, you are failing or something, well, but not that I'm saying you should watch these videos, but they're for you anyway. But anyway, so when I upload this video, what I'll do is I will fire up my browser, right? And then I will fire up my browser and I don't know what's happening here. I will fire up my browser and if I can get there, there we go. I will fire up my browser and then I will open up Moodle, which is a web-based application. I'll go to moodle.unza.zn, right? And then I, I add a link. This is nothing more than a link. I mean, I can embed it if I wanted to. So long story short here is the process I go through. I don't know if you're lost here or you're like, this weird person, why are we talking about the things we've already <laughs> spoken about? Facial expressions, you never know, right? Why are we doing the same things over and over again? I'm hoping people understand here. What I'm, what I'm trying to say is if you think about it, right? I'm using a series of applications. I don't know if you've been counting here. It starts with Google Slides, right? And then I will go to uh, PDFTK to inject the metadata, right? And then I will go to Chrome, right? And then I'll go to Moodle to upload the PDF, right? And then I record this using um, Smart Recorder, right? I use ADB to move what is here to my computer, right? I use FFmpeg to merge the audio and the video, right? And then I'll use Chrome to access YouTube Studio, right? And then I will open up Moodle, and then I will add a link there, right? So quite a number of applications I'm using here. Not that I'll be rewarded with anything. Say, nobody cares whether you're using eight applications here, right? <laughs> But yes, for, for me to do what? For me to what? Oh, well, it takes a while. And it's, uh, I think it, well, so the beauty, right? What they'll tell you about programming is it's centered around automation. So if you do the same things over and over again, there are certain processes that you can automate. And because I do this almost uh, every day, actually, right? Because I have classes almost, not every day, but I mean, most weekdays. Every week, Monday. Yeah, Monday. When is it? Yeah, every day actually, right? Every weekday. So it, it, uh, it turns out it doesn't really take long because I know how to find, I know which applications to use. And I know which commands to run, right? If I was doing this for the first time, it would probably take me the whole day or something. And maybe we should come up with an exercise and have you create a screencast and do this process so that you experience this, right? That would be nice.